Like this lesson by saying, Call the law Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakapadash. Double honor to the elect of GMS preaching his word in truth and sincerity. This is King Jesse back with another Bible lesson. And we're going to go into the Lord's elect, the elect of the nation of Israel. But before we go into this lesson, you so called black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, you are, you so called black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, you are the biblical Israelites. So-called white people, you're the biblical Edomites, uh, the devil that the Bible speaks of, pursuant to Job 9 and 24, and Yahweh is who you ignorantly call God, and Yahweh Shai is who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, and he's a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. Uh, yep, uh, Baha Shem means in the name, and Rakakadash is the Holy Spirit, so when you call on your power, you call on the name of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakadash. You no longer call on that fake ass name of Jesus Christ because the letter J was invented in 1524, so there's no way our Lord and Savior name could have been Jesus. He's uh, um, Hebrew. In the Paleo Hebrew language, it is Yahweh Shai, he's a so called black man. Now let's get into this lesson about the Lord's elect. Because the Lord is only coming back to save the elect. You know, a lot of these churches and now, I mean, these other Israelite groups out here might teach that the Lord is coming back to save everybody. No, the Lord is only coming back or call on the name of Jesus Christ and all that other shit that you'll be saved. No, the Lord is only coming back to save his elect and we're going to prove that through the scriptures. The only thing you got to do is it's a simple, easy lesson. Type in the word elect into your, um, your uh, Bible app and search the word elect and everything you need to see it will pop up. Yeah. You got to prove my point. Look at this, Isaiah 42 and 1. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, my elect. See, the elect is a, uh, just a group, is a small group of people that the Lord is coming back to save. I think it's going to be 144,000 in a numerable multitude. This is going to be the Lord's elect, but the elect, uh, the top of the elect is going to be um, the house of David, 144,000 from each, um, from each tribe, right? From uh, the 12 tribes of Israel, right? Uh, let's keep on let's bring, uh, behold uh, Isaiah 42 to 1 behold my servants whom I uphold mine elect and whom my soul delight I have put my spirit upon him he shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles and what judgment are we going to bring to the uh, Gentiles this is the uh, this is the judgment we're going to uh, bring to the Gentiles The judgment we're gonna pray for. Okay, uh, Jeremiah four and seven. The lion has come up from his thicket, and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. And the Gentiles are the, all the other nations that's not of you so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians that are not part of Israel. You are the Gentile nations. So. Let's read and run that back. If you're not a so-called black, Spanish, and Native American Indian, you are a Gentile, and the Lord is coming back to destroy you. Jeremiah 4 and 7. The lion has come up from his thicket, and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He has gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate, and thy city shall be laid waste without inhabitants. So that's the judgment we're going to bring on the Gentiles. Well, let's get back into the Lord's elect. Because that's what the Lord's elect is going to be out here doing, is bringing judgment and pronounce a judgment to the wicked. Esau, Edom, the biblical Edomite. Let's see. Uh, Isaiah 50, 45 and 4. For Jacob, my servant, say, in Israel, mine elect, the elect of Israel, right? I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee. Thou hast not known me. Uh, Isaiah 65 and 9, and I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob, and out of Judah, an inheritor of mountains, and that's going to be Yahweh Shai, and mine elect shall inherit it, because the elect is going to be co-heirs with Yahweh Shai in the kingdom, right? So we're going to inherit whatever Yahweh Shai, the son of God, inherit, right? And my servant shall dwell there. Isaiah 24 and 22. Except those days be shortened, 
there shall be no flesh shaved. But for my elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So the Lord is going to shorten the days. That's why you feel like the days are going by so quickly, because the Lord is shortening the days for his elect's sake. Because he said, if he doesn't do it for the elect's sake, these devils will kill everybody, including themselves. So the Lord has to shorten the days for the elect's sake. Because the Lord only loves his elect. He's only coming back to save his elect. On this side, he only loves the elect. And in the kingdom, he's going to love the whole nation of Israel, you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. But on this side, in this realm, on this earth, only the elect is going to be able to um, understand this Bible. And, and the Lord has only, only died for them. But, I mean, the Lord died for everybody because they're going to eventually inherit the kingdom of heaven. But the Lord's elect is going to be uh, judges. And the, uh, so there's going to be levels in the kingdom of heaven. And the Lord's elect, the house of David, is going to be above the regular Israelite person. I said 24 and 24, for there shall rise false Hamashiach, because Christ is Greek or Roman, right? And our Lord is a Hebrew, so it's Hamashiach. For, uh, for there shall arise false Hamashiach and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders. If so much there was possible, they shall deceive the elect. So, if it was possible, they would deceive the elect because of all these fake miracles that these Edomites are going to be performing. But guess what the Lord says? You cannot deceive my elect. You can't deceive the elect. And uh, we can go ahead and end the lesson right here because the Lord is only saving the elect and this is going to prove it. This is going to prove it. He's not here to save everybody. He's only the elect. And this proves it. So, And this that all you over doctrines for shame right here. And the sword is going to go through your ass. Check it out. Uh, where we go? Uh, Isaiah 24 and 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the earth to the other. Yep. And Mark actually says it too in 13 and 27. Luke 18 and 7. Go ahead. We can do that one too. And, and shall not God avenge his own elect? which cry day and night unto him, though they bear along with them. And that's what the elect does. When we do these videos, we're crying out to the Lord, come get us the fuck out of this place, Babylon the Great, and, and amongst these other Gentiles and heathen nations and Esau, Edomite. Save us from the wicked. You know, so like King David said, save us from the workers of iniquity. And those like the biblical Edomites, because so the Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Who runs the earth? You so-called white people, you are the biblical Edomites, man. Huh? The wicked that the Bible describes. Any more on your left? Uh, Romans 8 and 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? You can't charge the God elect with anything because uh, the hopeful elect sins have already forgiven. And hopefully I'm part of that and hopefully you're part of that as well. But we all know the Father from GMS that's out here preaching his word. On a daily basis, we know who they are. We know that they are the God, the Lord's elect. And you cannot question them because their sins have always been forgiven because they're without fault before the throne of God, right? Okay. Okay. And that's only as one and four because the Lord chose his elect. I knew you before you were formed in the belly. And Thessalonians uh, 1 and 4. Knowing, brethren, you love your election of God. Because the Lord only chose the elect. We're going to go ahead and end this lesson. But we're going to end this lesson by saying, Call of all Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, by Shem Rakhadah, by the honors to the elect. The hopeful elect of uh, Yahweh Shah, preaching this word of truth and sincerity. This is King Jesse Yahweh, the Bible, Bible lesson. The Lord's elect. Is going to be saved, and only the Lord's elect is going to be saved. Um, and it's not the Barakah that Yahweh, Barakah that Yahweh Shah, Barakah that Yahweh, Barakah that Yahweh Shah. Call the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah.